Well, hello friends, it's Danny here. And today I am in a fun hop with some friends and we are showcasing the latest Crafty Meraki release. And I apologize if I say that name wrong. I still am under the weather and yeah, so I apologize. Um, we each will be showcasing some of the latest releases. I will be showcasing this uh, Arson Floridized the Peony, and I did want to point out because I didn't realize it at first, but it does have some instructions on the inside telling you how, like a visual diagram guide to show you how to put it together. And at first, I was very overwhelmed, but then the more you do it, it really is so easy and it's so pretty. I didn't use this die today, but it is a fabulous die. It's the Meraki Moments High. And I love that their dies for this collection have three layers, like a shadow layer, like a base shadow, and then a shadow layer, and then the actual die. So that's cool. And then I did also use the Meraki Moments Hello. So those are super fun. And again, the star of the show is the Peony. I really love this. I'm also going to link in the description box below um, a couple of their design team videos from when the release happened because their method of putting it together really helped me and why reinvent the wheel. I will show you my process, but their videos were top notch, so I will do that. And for my card today, I had the thought, the idea to use this beautiful die with some pattern paper. I don't know about you. I know that there's people out there that don't use pattern paper. That is not me. I'm kind of obsessed with it. And I kind of feel like it might be my superpower because I do get a lot of compliments that I put patterns together that people wouldn't think of and stuff. So I pulled out an old basic gray uh, paper pad and that is what I used to make my card. So we're gonna go to the process I probably won't talk through a lot of it. It's pretty basic stuff. But um, if you have any questions or anything, by all means, leave them in the comment section below. Before I go to the process, I do want to mention that this is a hop. There is a playlist in the description box that you can click on, and that'll take you to everyone's video. And there's also a giveaway for a chance to win a $100 gift card to the Crafty, Crafty Meraki shop, just fill out the form in the description box by the end of February 2024. And then the winner will be announced to the Crafty Meraki community page after the contest ends. Make sure that you subscribe and ring the notification bell to get an alert when the winner is posted on the Crafty Meraki um, page. And I will leave that link in the description box as, box as well. All right, so let's get to seeing how I put my card together. The first thing that I did was die cut out three different sets and I put them in those little trays. It helps me to see what I'm doing. And then I just followed the guide that's inside the packaging for that peony die. Um, it was pretty easy. There was a little bit of confusion on the very first one, but I figured it out and that's what I did. I only show putting together one of the peonies. I actually did three of them for my card. But again, I will link in the description box below a couple other videos where their design team put it together because I feel the more you see it put together, the easier it is. And I'll go ahead and put on some music for now while I put this together and finish it up.
after I had all the flowers put together and everything die cut, die cut out, I just basically put it together. If you haven't watched my videos before, I always start on the inside. It's just kind of my routine. So I didn't decorate this panel as much as I normally do, but I did put in room or, you know, I put it in so that there's a white layer to write your message on. I used my score buddy to line up to get that front panel on. I have learned that from Crafty Owl. And then I'm just uh, finishing the card. I'm putting together that hello die with those layers. I really, really like how it turned out. And I'll go ahead and put music back on and you can watch the finishing of putting it together. I have to say I am so thrilled with how this turned out. I know it's kind of, I might have used maybe not such a dark paper, but it is one of the pattern papers from that collection. And I just think it looks so pretty having those touches of the flowers and then this, the two solid colors. And then I always decorate the inside. I didn't do like a full on decorations. I just did a... Uh, scalloped rectangle but at least it has room to write now and so there is my finished card I just I really love it and I can't wait to play with the peony die uh, some more um, again I really love the pattern paper look I might have to try that again so like I said earlier make sure that you click the uh, playlist in the description box hop around see what everyone made and fill out that form to be entered into the giveaway. Thanks so much for stopping by. Go do something for yourself and go get crafty. Bye.